Welcome back. The Radio Free Scar Fluid Lakes Evan Calendar 2021. This is day five. Day, we're recording this in early November, folks. So I hope you enjoy the uh, Flux finale tonight or today, depending on when you're listening to this. Uh, the, qu- the question, look at this. It's, uh, it actually sort of ties in from Alexander Denton. The Denton one uh, asks, if you could make a full series event like a flux or a key to time, etc., what would you personally do? Hmm. Hmm, this is going to take some thinking. I hope you guys got something. I, I don't yet. I remember uh, several years ago, I came up with the idea of a serialized plot working around um, the TARDIS going missing and the doctor basically having to go and f- find it or find out why it's been stolen or something. Um, which A, is kind of like Red Dwarf Series 6, and B, <laughs> they kind of almost did for the first two episodes of Jodie Whittaker's yeah, first season. Say. So that, that idea might have might not be as, uh, as ground-breaking if it was ever breaking any ground whatsoever, uh, as I initially thought. Um, hmm, what could it be? Let's, uh... Daypole figures have been wiped from history. The doctor must find out why and stop it. Boom. I mean, we, I mean, there better be a lot of ideas out there for like, you know, season long arcs too, because I mean, I, I feel like that's the way the show's going to go. So let's hope that RTD has like four or five kicking around in his back pocket. Um, but we'll try to come up with one here. Um, I mean, time is the obvious one, isn't it? I mean, that's the thing with Doctor Who. You can sort of mess around with time and then mm-hmm. it would be easy. Um, uh, I would have, instead of always destroying Gallifrey, I'd have a season long thing set on various parts of Gallifrey. Basically make it, you know, a big, the morning show for Gallifrey, a big <laughs> soap operatic uh, <laughs> evening d- d- histrionics Hello. type Gallifrey show with the doctor stepping in and out of it as need be. The real housewives of Gallifrey. Exactly. The real housewives of Gallifrey. Yeah. They slap them so hard, they regenerate, you know, when they have a fight. <laughs> No, what, oh, but what if, like, imagine if, like, boom, pre-credit sequence, you know, the TARDIS is in space or something like that, and uh, blah, 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 something happens, they're talking, oh, 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 the cloister bell, what's going on here? Oh, there's something in space, we're about to run into it. Uh, quick stop, the TARDIS runs out, looks out the door, and Gal- somehow Gallifrey returned. Instead of it getting blown up, it just <laughs> magically returns. Somehow Gallifrey returns. Interesting choice. It somehow of, returns. Of words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then like, and then you, they go down there and says, well, like literally nothing is, like they're they're acting as if like n- the time war and nothing happened. How could a, a planet, the, the home of the Time Lords, be so uh, ignorant of time at this point? And then it's a whole mystery about why Gallifrey is back and why nothing has happened. And then it's a good, it's a good way to reset all the mistakes and, and uh, right turns and such that have been made over the past 15 years. I, I have another idea. Right. I have another idea. I don't know how many episodes you get out of this, right. but how about a return to eSpace culminating <gasps> in the great vampire war? Oh, bow ship For real this time. Yeah. Cause we're stuck back, back in the vampire war. <laughs> Get, you get a lot of out of that uh, that green tint space effect too. I yeah, yeah, and you could do, and you could have new planets. It doesn't necessarily because e space is a bunch of different stuff. Lots of planets. You could have a whole bunch of new stories mm-hmm. within e space. Maybe the universe itself will be collapsing. Um, exactly. To get you With know space taking over. Yeah, to give it a bit of a you know urgency or something building up to the end of the or e space is collapsing and the vampires need to get out and take over. Man, we got something there. Hmm. Geez, look at that. This is easy. We should be Doctor Who showrunners. This is easy. This is just... <laughs> <laughs> it's all, all three of us should individually yeah. be Doctor Who showrunners. We could each do Can't a season. Yeah, we could, like, the three of us will do, we'll do, we'll stay for three seasons and we'll each do a season and then you'll, they'll be so good that you'll just clamor for us to come back. And... I can see the headline right now on whatever tabloid you choose from England. Yeah. Podcaster disaster. Okay. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> Uh, Chris, do you have any, uh, any ideas kicking around or, uh, like Warren and I having made them up in the last two minutes or, uh, I'm, 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 I'm kind of digging on the whole vampire. Uh, it's a good uh, climax. I think it's a good way to, good thing. way to wrap it up. Yeah. And vampires, everyone's vampires, you know, it'd be, that, and then you can involve Gallifrey anyway. So. And they'd be like young, sexy vampires. They'd I be think, like twilight vampires, you know, like the, you know, those kind. 
because everyone loves. And the big, what, like the one in the pit, those giant guys. They, uh, they, they, you can make them look good now, not like a puppet. <laughs> I think. I think. Yeah. I, uh, I would. I would almost be afraid to see it because I think it could be. There's a risk of it of, of it being very lame, done very lamely. All right. But like maybe like Gallifrey the early years. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the other, you know. Yeah, that's not Gallifrey one. Academy, which you should all look up uh, under Freiburg on YouTube, by the way. You know, lo- looms and the whole, the whole shooting match. Looms. Look, this has been resolved by now, presumably. Uh, but as of right now, in the distant past mm-hmm. uh, audience, people are already going on about looms being a possibility for next week. So uh, yep, either either laugh at our ignorance or laugh at our ignorance, I guess. Or, or laugh at our prescience for like predicting that looms will in fact be the, the cliffhanger uh, to the end I of the I don't fluff. know if it's prescient to read Twitter and go, that sounds stupid. No. No, <laughs> uh, something tells me that Chris has been thinking about looms a lot since about 1991. I think you're right. <laughs> 